Before I even say anything about today's video, what do you guys think of the brand new channel rebranding? The new intro, the new outro, the new logo, the new banner. I think it looks absolutely fire. Let me know in the comments section down below. But also guys, memberships should be live this week. So if you guys are considering becoming a member to the Jeans channel, I would really appreciate that. So stay tuned for this week. Members should be live. And also I will give you guys the heads up when members are officially live. So again, super, super hype. But what's going on everybody? Jeans here. Bring you guys some more content for Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet. Hopping back onto that ranked double ladder. And today we have ourselves a Slush Rush Bear Tick team for the ranked double ladder. No Legends of Ruin Pokemon on this team. Hopefully we can still use it up and grab some wins for you guys. You guys are in no deal. If you do enjoy the content anytime, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, what are you doing? Click that big red subscribe button and join the Jeans community. This team was also made by my boy DK Trading. Thanks so much for sending me this team. Link to his channel will be down in the description below. Definitely go head over to his channel. Show him some Jeans love. And if you want the Poke Pace, head over to his channel. We got Talonflame in our first slot with the Gale Wings and the Covert Cloak as its item. Rock and Tailwind, Brave Bird, Tall, and will o -Wisp. And then we got Obama Snow in that second slot. Obama Snow is going to be great for setting the snow for my Iron Bundle and my Bear Tick. Giving them a nice little boost on the defense. And on top of that, procking my Bear Tick Slush Rush, doubling its speed. It's got the Icy Rock so the snow lasts longer. Then we got Blizzard, Helping Hand, Protect, and Aurora Bell, which is amazing once you can get that set up. We got my boy Iron B in the third slot, Deli Deli Bird as I like to call it, with the Cork Drive and the Booster Energy as its item. Protect, Freeze Drive, Blizzard, and Hydro Pump. Really love this moveset, especially when you get this Pokemon in the snow. Fourth Pokemon is going to be that Bear Tick. With Slush Rush and that Pokemon in the snow, it can really outspeed most Pokemon. Plus on top of that, its physical attack is rather high, so it can hit really, really hard. It has the Safety Goggles as its item, Protect, Rock Slide, Icicle Crash, and Heavy Slam. Fifth Pokemon is going to be Garchomp, who I've been using more and more on the rank ladder. I feel like it's starting to like come back into the meta a little bit, but not really, but still being very strong on its own with a good Terra type. This one has Rough Skin, the Life Orb as item, Draco Meteor, Earth Power, Fire Blast, and Protect. Final Pokemon on today's team, yep, you guys guessed it, it is going to be Fluttermane. Moonblast, Dazzle Gleam, Shadow Ball, and Protect with the Photo Sash, uh, not the Photo Sash, the Focus Sash, and the Protosynthesis as its only ability. Guys, you want to rent this team for yourself? Rent the code is at the top right hand corner, but let's get after it. Let's hop on that ranked double ladder. Look to grab some wins with this Slush Rush, no Legends of Ruin Pokemon Series 3 team. First match on its way, and we're going up against a Cerulege and Ting Lu team, alongside with Bax Calibur, Gyarados, Fluttermane, and Amoongus. So, pretty strong team. Hopefully, we can rip after it and grab ourselves a win here. But I've been recording Legends of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. If you guys haven't checked out that playthrough, definitely go check it out. I've been having a blast playing that, and it is definitely a lot of fun. So, if you're like on the edge of winning that game, definitely watch the playthrough, and I'm telling you guys, you'll probably buy that game. But uh, who should we lead, and how should we get after this? We do. We could go into straight weather. I feel like straight weather's not bad. They could lead Ting Lu on top of that. So I think Bear Tick and Obama Snow is going to be my play. I really do like both these Pokemon. So Bear Tick, Obama Snow, we're going to end up leading. I am going to bring Iron B in the back end. It's just so good. I'm going to bring Iron B. And then last but not least, probably Fluttermane. I mean, you can't really go wrong with Fluttermane. So yeah, that's going to be my play. We're bringing all the Snow Squad, the Ice Pokemon, and we're going to get ripping. They do have Cerule Edge, which is a little bit of a problem, right? I mean, if they lead Cerule Edge, I'm trying to figure out ways I can get after. I could Terrasilize my Bear Tick. Could drop a Rock Slide. I mean, Rock Slide's pretty nice for me. Could protect my Obama Snow, but I would love for him to maybe make, like, a lead. Maybe, like, Ting Lu or something so we could set up a War Bell and kind of get after it. But, of course, there's Cerule Edge and Fluttermane. The Cerule Edge Fluttermane come out here. Um, Man, I don't have Focus Ash, which kind of sucks. I do not have a Sash. The Terrasilizing in the water could be okay. We... Should be faster than Fluttermane. Yeah, we should be. We're double speed. Let me see your speed, Bear Tick. Hmm, you might not be faster than Fluttermane. What's my Fluttermane at? 187. Are you fully boosted? You are, but you don't have a nature, do you? You do not. You have a special attack nature. So this one should be close if that thing is fully invested in the speed. But from here, I think this is maybe like a simple terror. Do I rock slide or do I heavy slam? Hmm. I think I'm just going to rock slide here, chip up some damage, and then I could protect or I could helping hand. I'm just going to protect you. Because I would love to try to set up an Aurora Bell. An Aurora Bell would be awesome. 
But if I can protect here and just land a rock slide, even if I don't chaos through edge, I can outspeed it next turn. And we can get an effort. So I'm gonna terrestrialize my bear tech, make sure he does not go down here. And we are going into that straight water terror type. So Bomb is gonna protect here, putting up a nice little wall. I don't feel like a bitter blade. Or I hope a bitter blade comes in that slot. Rock slide outspeeds both. We get off some nice damage, and we don't even have Surulet, which kind of hurts. Moonblast does fly, chipping up some crazy damage on the bear tick, and Surulet gets to flinch. So from here, you know what? Screw it. We're going for a heavy slam. I'm looking to take out you, and I'm going to try to set up this Aurora Bell. I'm going to try to set up the Aurora Bell. If not, if I can just get rid of Fluttermane, I think that's a solid turn from us. But he ends up just Shadow Sneaking us, which I was going to say, I thought we should be able to eat it up, but I guess we don't. Alright, that's not that big of a deal. That's not that big of a deal, because if I can just get off this war veil, that's a big time play for us. So even with the defense boost, we die to that Shadow Sneak, so just loses some HP. Moonblast flies over, we should be able to soak. Cool. Of course, they get the special attack drop, but Aurora Bell is now out and about. Which is big time. So Aurora Bell is here. And now we can just go into... You, right? Just start throwing blizzards, maybe hydro pumps. Uh... All that good stuff. Or I could just go into Fluttermain. Fluttermain's not bad. I have Sash. He's probably going to Shadow Sneak into me, which kind of sucks. But I feel like my Deli Bird, once we get rid of a few Pokemon, we can really rip into this. So I'm going to go into Fluttermain here. Fluttermain over Deli Bird. I think we have to get rid of Soul Edge first and foremost. Maybe even both. But I can Gleam, Gleam. It's going to be not very effective. So I'm thinking of just Shadow Ball dropping you and just trying to land this Blizzard. Let's do it. The Shadow Ball comes out here, and I have the Focus Ash, which is great. And you're not even going to bring me down to that. The Shadow Ball comes out here. I'm going to take you out. And how much damage can we do to this? This lovely little Flutter Mean. We're just flying. And it's not that much. We are Special Attack Mine, so we get a Freeze by chance. And I think from here we just protect Flutter Mean. And... We just let my Bomba Snow do its thing, because once I can get out, ooh, Ice Shark could be a problem. But yeah, I'm just going to protect you, and I'm just going to go into Blizzard. And I think Deli Bird and Fluttermane could clutch us up, but the first turn priority moves are kind of annoying. So out comes Terra from our opponent. And there's going to be Bax Calibur into what typing? Treat Poison. My man's on the Poison Train. He's on the Poison Train, which is a great Terra type from. Great, really great terror type. He's gonna end up protecting you. So he protects. I protect. And that kind of ruins what I'm trying to do here. It really does. Because I think he might be going for Ice Shard here. No, he's gonna D Dance off. Oh no. Not the D Dance, man. D Dance doing me dirty. D Dance doing me real dirty. Blizzard gonna come out here. Can we get the freeze? Freeze would be big time. The freeze would be big time. We got a crit. Give me the freeze too. No freeze comes out here. So from here, I think I go for double protect. We die regardless. So I'm gonna go for double protect. I'm gonna go for the blizzard again. And we're gonna try rip it. We're going for double protect. And we land it. We land it. That's beautiful. That's a little double protect. Ends up going for a glade rush and he takes me out. So from here, now I get to bring out my Deli Bird, which should be faster than all of his Pokemon, which could be really good for us. Could be really good for us because I think Deli Bird should be able to KO KO Fluttermane, which would be big time with a Blizzard. Right? We get the booster energy. We should boost our speed. We'll get after this. I don't know. It can Blizzard KO both. <laughs> that would be huge. I know. I know my boy was minus one on special attack, but I just want to see its special attack in general. Which is 139 compared to 168. High special attack. I wish I did sell my Terra. But I guess from here we will just double down to back's caliber because I believe this blizzard should KO. Actually, instead of going into a Shadow Ball, we'll just Dazzle Gleam. And we'll blizzard. Let's do it. So Bax Caliber ends up protecting. Can this blizzard KO that flutter me? That'd be big time for us. We're gonna double protect, so I guess he's just trying to waste out some turns. Or just feel out what I'm trying to use. Kinda hoping this thing does not have Ice Shard, right? I mean, at this point, I think I protect my Fluttermane. I think I protect my Fluttermane, because if he does have Ice Shard, he's just gonna take me out, so... I say we protect Fluttermane, and we just drop Blizzards. We throw some Blizzards out here. 
lovely little blizzards. Okay. Yeah, with that. Oh, they wanted to waste out a war veil. That kind of hurts. Now I'm just going to protect you. How many turns is left in the snow? Two. And I'm just going to go into a blizzard. So I go for the blizzard here. Let's see what he does. My Aurora Veil is gone, which hurts the soul. I'm out here with a nice little protect. And Blizzard is gonna fly. We do outspeed and we don't pick up a KO. That hurts, man. That hurts. But, as long as you don't have Ice Shard. As long as you don't have Ice Shard. As long as you don't have Ice Shard. I mean, he's gonna protect somebody, right? He might. I think he's gonna double protect here. I think he double protects. There's one protect. He's got a double protect, right? Wow, this match coming down to the wire. He does double protect. Um, what's my play here? Do I hope to just land a double blizzard, right? I think I have to hope to land a double blizzard. This is a time which I, where I wish I had icy win, but I'm able to survive that. Glaive Rush because of the snow. That is huge. This is a time where I wish I had Icy Wind, man. <laughs> if I can pick up a KO here, we have a high chance of winning this match. Or if I can land this double blizzard. But I think that's more our only option here. Is to land a double blizzard. So we're gonna go for it. We're gonna go for a double blizzard. Let's run it. We missed somebody. Did we miss both? We really missed both. We really missed both. Not one. We couldn't have we couldn't have got rid of one there. We couldn't have got rid of one. That hurts a little bit. That definitely hurts a little bit. Match number one goes to our opponent. Missing my blizzards. Let me take that L. Second match coming at you guys. And if we could have just landed one blizzard, we could have had a shot at winning that match. Say we landed on that back's caliber there. I think the flutter main was going after my flutter main. So then that could have been a 1v2 with Delibird. And Delibird could definitely pull it off. But our opponent played really good. If we would have landed that blizzard, it could have been a different story. But we really needed that blizzard on both of them. But we'll take that to the chin. Second match coming at you guys. Going up against a Shen Pao, Scissor, and Dragonite team with Amoongus, Glamora, and Cerulean. How should I play this one? I could go Talonflame turn one. I kind of like it. Maybe setting up a Talon. We do have Taunt. We do have will o -Wisp, which is really, really good for a lot of these physical attackers. Um, Garchomp's not too bad here either. I do like Garchomp, especially with the Fire Terra. So I might want to I might want to lead Chompy. I might want to get Chompy with it, yo. Chompy could be the play. I mean, Iron Bundle, Obama Snow is not bad either because I could set up the uh, a War Veil. And I'm thinking I'm leaning towards that, right? But first turn priority is a problem. It's a problem for me. It is a problem. I mean, what happens if they lead Scissor turn one? If they lead Scissor turn one. We are in some deep trouble. Shen Pao Scissor could be a little rough for us. But I'm going to do that. I'm going to bring Garchomp in the back end. And then I'm just going to bring Flutz. Actually, I like Talonflame. I like Talonflame as a back end attacker. I don't know why. I just really like it as a back end attacker. So I'm going to lead a Snow Squad. We're going to hope that Scissor does not come out here for the lead. But it probably is. Like, you, you know it's coming out here. Maybe I should just let the guard chomp. But I can Terra and I have Terra or Fire Blast with it. So that could have been really good. So let's see who they lead. No Scissor? No Scissor. Cerule Edge does come out here though. But Obama Snow Iron B come out here. Um. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. What do I do here? Protect the Obama Snow, try to land Hydro Pump in this ledge. Seems like the play. So I'm gonna do that play. That is gonna be my play. We're gonna hope that Shrew Edge isn't protected. I don't believe it is going to be. But every time I say I hope something's not gonna happen, it always happens. So <laughs> here comes the protect from Shrew Edge. I'm curious to see what's gonna do. I could have protected the Iron B, but I just feel like you gotta go for a bitter blade into my Obama Snow. Let's see. I mean, if he does end up going for a Grass Terra, I mean, I just KO it next turn with a with one of my moves. His best bet would be go after my Deli Bird. He's terrestrializing. You little biscuit. He's gonna terrestrialize this Rudge in the Grass. Yep. Mm, grass. Yeah. Okay. So his best bet would be if he uh, goes after my Shen Pao here. Or not my Shen Pao. If his Shen Pao goes after my 
Iron Bundle, and then he can just kill me next turn with a Sucker Punch, but I'm just going to protect here. I'm going to Hydro Pump. I am going to land it, which kind of hurts now that I'm doing like five damage. And a Sacred Sword comes out here. Okay, so that's big. That's big. Are you double down? There's no way you double down. He might. He is because he thought... He thought that Jeans was going, or Jeans has Focus Ash on this bomb stuff, which I do not. But now we're sitting in a pretty decent spot where I can freeze dry and get rid of, or I can actually just Blizzard. Blizzard will work. I can Blizzard and get rid of uh, Cerulege. And on top of that, take off Focus Ash if Shen Pao has it. And if I kill Cerulege, I don't think Obama Snow is dying. So I can set up an Aurora Veil here as well. So that Protect turn one, mwah, it was lovely. It was beautiful. I always play better in match number two. So he ends up just withdrawing. He hard swaps that Pokemon. That's totally fine. We get off a free Blizzard turn. And we're going to be able to go with uh, an Aurora Bell, which is big time. So Blizzard flies through here. Chipping up some damage on top of that. Give me freezes. No, no freeze comes out here. Any Sacred Swords, which we're able to soak. And that thing's Orb. It wasn't Sash. It was not Sash. So Aurora Bell out and about now. Lovely, beautiful. Do I just double Blizzard? <coughs> First turn priority, a little bit of a problem. Um, I'm going to Blizzard this. I could hard swap into, like, Talonflame or something. Which could be a decent turn, but... Mm. I think we just let the Deli Bird go down here. Actually, I'll just protect it. We'll look for some freezes, maybe with a Bomber Snow. So it goes for that. It goes for a B punch in the slot. Can we eat that? We can. We're looking for some freezes. We're looking to just deal some nice damage here. I need a little bit of freeze action. No freeze. So I'm just gonna go. I'm gonna double down with the blizzard. Actually, I could hard swap here. So if he's going for sucker punch into the slot, it could be a free swap into say like you, or even Garchomp. But then Ice Spinner just does me dirty. So you're gonna be the better option. So I'm gonna hard swap. I'm gonna save my Deli Deli Bird for later. I think he can definitely come in clutch. And I'm going to Talon Flame. Because if you're going for Sucker Punch, this would just fail because we swap. That's what I'm kind of hoping. Yeah. Cool. Awesome. So you pretty much give us a free swap. Blizzard is going to fly here. He's going to try to take us out with an X-Scissor. Probably going to work. Now you're going to Sword Stance up instead. Um. See, I don't mind that too much. I don't mind that too much. Because now I can go for another Blizzard. And just Brave Bird on top of that. A little bit of Bee Bird. A little bit of Bee Bird. Maybe I should double down into Shen Pao, but... You really gotta go right now. I mean, he's gonna take me out with Bull Punch. That's exactly what's gonna happen. He's gonna take me out with Bull Punch, and... Yeah, he's gonna take my Bomb Snow out with Bull Punch. Maybe I should've protected the Bomb Snow. Yeah, because I really need Shen Pao. Actually, Shen Pao's Orb. Once it hits me, it's dead. He ends up just straight withdrawing you. I'm going into a a uh, flying move, so this is probably not going to be Cerulege, right? It is, so Cerulege is dead. You're dead. You're gone. See you later. But thanks for the free KO. You wasted a Swords Dance, and we just have a solid, solid War Bell set up here, right? And it was a great swap from us predicting the Sucker Punch, so it was free for us. Take a Sword comes through here. That's going to KO, and you're going to die to Life Orb. Beautiful, right? You die a life orb. You died a life orb. We love it. We love it. See you later. See you later. So now Scissor is forced to come back out here. Um, I feel like I just go into Garchomp here and I fire Terror, right? It really depends who their last Pokemon is because they got Scissor who's low on HP, which I'm probably just going to Brave Bird into. And we'll see what he wants to do because he does have Pool Punch, but if I Terror it in a fire, it's a pretty good typing up against Scissor. And decent up against Dragonite. So I think I just burn. Actually, I'm going to burn the Dragonite. And I'm going to get rid of the Scissor. That's my play. I'm burning the Dragonite. And I'm getting rid of the Scissor. I'm just going to Earth Power. Because Earth Power should KO the Scissor. And I don't want to. I don't want to risk missing the. Uh, missing the Draco Meteor. Or the Fire Blast. <coughs> Very strong moves. Lower on the accuracy. Rather just Earth Power. Because Earth Power should be able to KO this thing. And Stab. Shiny Scissor looks amazing. We'll see what they want to do here. We shall see what they want to do here. What you doing, dog? 
Gonna terrestrialize or no, I'm gonna terrestrialize. I forget, they already terrestrialized, which is big. Like they can't can't get the normal boost, they can't get the uh steel type boost for the first turn priority moves. But we played this one pretty pretty well here, right? We still have the iron bee in the back, but it really doesn't matter because they both have first turn priority moves. The bull punch flies here, this is exactly why I terrestrialize. We're able to soak really, really well, especially with the war bell up, and rough skin is going to chunk up some damage. We love it. Will o Wisp connects. That's the game right there. That's locking it down. That's the dagger. That is the dagger. Put a nice little burn onto this boy. Unless he has the Lumberry, which I highly doubt. And you do not. Earth Power flies through here. Scissor. See you later, alligator. And yeah, this thing is not going to be able to do any crazy damage. Unless it gets crits. Probably going for an Ice Spinner in my Garchomp. No, it goes for an Out. That's fine. You're burned. We have a War Bell. I'm soaking that. And you're going to take some nice, lovely rough skin damage. So cool. If you're a multi scale, it's off. And yeah, always play better in match number two than match number one. Roar Veil's gone. We can now go for a lovely little Draco Meteor and on top of that, in a nice lovely Brave Bird. But I think our opponent just cancels the match, right? They do not. They stay in and then turn off their console. We love it. One and one for today's video. We were KO and we were winning this match, no problem. Let's hop into our third and final and look for a winning record. Final match on its way, and we played so good in that second match. Let's keep the hot streak rolling into this third and final match. And look at this. Both teams, no Legends of Ruins Pokemon, looking pretty cool. I feel bad. Actually, we both have uh, one Paradox Pokemon. Actually, I have two. I have two. They have one. But their team's looking pretty good. They got the Iron Hands. They also have the Grimstone to set up possibly screens. And then on top of that, they got Palafin, Golden Go, Amoongus, and Arcanine for Intimidate. I kind of like Talonflame here if they want to lead... Uh, uh, not Abomasun, if they want to lead Iron Hands. But I kind of want to lead Abomasun to get this screen set up. It could be really good for me. I'll probably bring it in the back end. It will probably be more so a back end Pokemon. So I'm going to go Iron B here. I'm going to go Iron B. I am going to go Town Flame. And then on top of that, I'm going to bring Abomasnow. Actually, we got to get Bear Tick in here. we got to get Bear Tick in the video. So <laughs> we might lead Abomasnow. We might just lead Abomasnow, which I like. I'm going to go Abomasnow. I am going to go Bear Tick. Actually, let's lead Bear Tick. Actually, I can't lead a physical attacker, which is my problem. So, you know, we're going to lead Fluttermane and then bring Bear Tick and Abomasnow. The reason I want to bring Bear Tick is because I did not use it in the last battle. I didn't. I didn't, and I and I really want to showcase it in today's video. So, third and final match. It's all about Bear Tick. We're one and one Let's look to grab ourselves a win. Might lose this one, but if that's the case, I still feel like we played pretty good today. So, let's see who they end up leading. Arcanine and Grimstone. This is exactly why I did not want to lead Paratech. So good call from me. We do go to Talonflame. We do go Fluttermane. And I mean, this isn't too bad. Intimidate's going to come out here. It is going to intimidate my bird. Um, hmm. Probably sets up a late screen or something like that. And I can't... Actually, I can taunt you. I just can't prankster you. So actually, you're going to go first regardless. So it doesn't really matter. I think I just Brave Bird down this Arcanine slot. And then from here... We just throw a Moon Blast and we chuck up damage onto the Grimmsnarl. So probably late screens. I doubt he terrestrializes Grimmsnarl. That's very, very odd. If they want to do that. I think he just sets up a late screen and kind of just goes from there. So we'll see. My Talon Flame is minus one on attack. So we might want to swap it for later. And he just ends up with Joel and Arcanine. So we're Brave Burden into this slot. Let's see who he goes into. It's going to be Iron. So solid damage coming out here. We'll take the damage all day. We'll take the nice lovely damage. Actually, I thought it would do more, but I forgot he's part electric. The light screen does come out here. Um, okay. And we're just going to throw a nice little moon blast in the slot. So we moon blast here, and we get a crit, or do we just KO? We get a crit. Bye-bye. <laughs> See you later. See you later. Okay, so from here, I think we just throw a burn with Talonflame onto the Iron Hands. I think that's our play, and then we kind of just have Fluttermane get some work done, right? Fluttermane, even with light screen up, it's still going to be chunking up some nice damage on the Pokemon. And Golden Go is going to fly here. So we kind of want to look for a Shadow Ball in that slot. Definitely Will-O-Wisp over here. We do have Fairy Terror, which kind of buns. So I might just want to protect you. And just see what he wants to do. I'll see if he wants to Terrasalize. So I'm just looking to get off this free burn onto the uh, onto the Iron Hands. If he goes for a Fake Out in the Town Flame, we have the Covert Cloak to block it. Everything's working good. Everything's pretty good right now. We don't have Palafin. We know it's last Pokemon, which is good. And we have Bear Tick in the back end, which is not bad. And a Bombastow. I mean, I can deal with it. I do have Water Terror. 
I do have Water Terror for Bear Tick, so that can be pretty good for the Arcanine. I have Rock Slide. That's a good move. I can Helping Hand it. We get the speed. We get a lot going. So we'll see what they want to do. They're going to Terrasilize. Is that Golden Go? Or is that my boy Iron Hands? It's going to be Iron Hands. So what typing are you going into? Really? The most perfect typing out there for what I have? The most perfect typing out here. The most perfect typing. Really hurts the soul. Really hurts the soul. So we get a double protect. That is the most perfect typing. And fake out sneak iron. The most perfect typing. Okay. Looks like we gotta get after it. Uh do we need speed? Or do my will my Pokemon out speed? I think we don't need speed. What's your speed at? I don't believe we need speed. I'm not too worried about it. Um, I think we just double down on the Golden Go. Try to try to chip up damage onto him, right? And you're gonna hard stop into Arcanine. Arcanine comes out here, intimidating me some more. And I think he might just wild charge in my talent flame, but this is gonna pop out here, do a little bit of damage. And Brave Bird's going to do even less damage. And we'll take some recoil and Iron Hands. Are you just going to Wild Charge into me? I'm just going to Heavy Slam into me. Okay, I'll need that. Okay. Ooh, the Sash. I forgot about Sash. So we're kind of just wasting out these Light Screen turns, right? Probably our best bet is to just waste out these Light Screen turns. Which, how many turns do they have left? Two. So from here, I'm just going to go for this. And I'm just going to protect you. Again, just wasting out these Tailwind turns is... It's our best friend. We're not telling these late screen turns. So I'll play this one slow because I like who I have in the back and I really like, I really like my water terror bear tick. So I end up just protecting you. Brave Bird's flying. We're trying to just do as much damage as we can to the Arcanine. He probably has a berry. I'm not even gonna lie. Gonna howl up. Oh, smart play. That's a smart play. We definitely gotta double down the Arky after this. So attacks getting boosted. Every slam's flying. We are blocking it. Um. Hmm. The Iron Hand's a little bit of a problem. We're doubling down the Arcanine slot. You're doubling down into the slot. This Iron Hand's a little bit of a problem. A little bit of a problem. We do have the Rock Slide. The Water Terror. Um. Hmm. I would think he would go for a fighting move, so maybe two rock sides and KO. I don't know. Mm. I'm not too sure. So Arcanine protects and that that might make me lose the match. We just double down in that bad boy. We just double down in that. Because Golden Go is a bit of a problem too. I mean we do get that nice defense boost onto these uh physical attackers with the snow. But Heavy Slam's gonna fly here. And that's gonna take me out. Hmm. So, do I bring out Bear Tick? I do like Bear Tick. I'm thinking Bear Tick swap Talonflame and get my attack stat back. And just send out a Bomb of Snow. I think that's my best bet. And then Terrasilize this Pokemon. That's exactly what we're gonna do. We're gonna swap you into a Bomb of Snow, get the Snow rolling, Terrasilize you, and just pop a nice lovely Rock Slide. Rockside should KO Arcanine, but I think Arcanine is going to swap here just for another Intimidate late game. And we can get off some nice damage on the Iron Hands. Iron Hands is a problem, though. <laughs> it's a problem. Rockside's not going to do a crazy damage to it. But it will have a chance to flinch, which a flinch would be big time for us. So I swap my Talon Flame. I'm, if I had to get Arcanine, it's definitely get the swap. And the Snowman comes out here. A bomb of snow, ready to rock. Up against two fire type Pokemon. Just what I wanted. So I get the snow out here. He does not swap. So this should potentially take out Arcanine. Light screen is gone, which is pretty solid for us. Um we do get to go into this water. They have no way of changing weather either. And Rock Slide's gonna miss somebody. Who are you missing? Iron hands? Both of them! Come on now. Come on now. Come on with that. Come on with that.
come on with that. Both of them? Both of them? Really? Really? That would have definitely taken out the Arcanine. Not the Iron Hands, but still, it would have prevented the Hal. Oh, my lord, oh my lord, and lord, and lordy. Just terrible. So I feel like he definitely swaps Arky here, and he pretty much just wins this match. I wish I had a fire move, though. Who's faster? Curious to see who's faster. You're, uh, okay, so Bear Tech is gonna be faster. Ah, it hurts, man. There's a the swap of the Arky. Oh. Mm, mm, mm. My heart, man. He might even protect the Iron Hands here. He does not. Let me flinch on that Iron Hands. Let me flinch on that thing. That's decent damage. If we get a flinch, we have a shot to win this. Oh, it was a crit. Wow. A little crit action. Great birdie on the fly here. Get some nice damage. Give me the flinch. Give me the flinch. Come on. I need some RNG side. Nope. And now goes my bear tick. So that is going to be the game. That actually really hurts that we missed a rock slide. Because I think if we land that rock slide, we KO the Arcanine. And we probably would have KO'd the... We probably would have KO'd the Iron Hands here, right? Iron Hands would have been dead. That hurts, man. Because another, another rock slide should have been able to take it out. Another one should have taken it out. That is some tough news. That is some tough news, but I'm just gonna run this match. RNG does this a little dirty today. We go one and two. At least we were able to grab ourselves a nice victory in match number two. So guys, one and two for today's video. Wish I would have grabbed you guys another win, but still had a lot of fun recording with this team. And again, if the Blizzards landed and the uh, the Rockside landed there at the end, I definitely think we would have had at least a two and one winning record for today's video. But still, this team's awesome. Loving it so much. A lot of different combos. I might have to run it back with this team. So if you guys want me to do that, let me know in the comment section down below. But guys, that is going to be for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spend a positive day. And I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.